This video is about the single cell view of the human body. According to Darwin's theory of evolution, human beings originally evolved from a single cell floating in the ocean. That single cell evolved into a fish, an amphibian, a reptile, an insect, a bird, a mammal, and then into a human being. Here is a two-dimensional picture of a single cell. A cell can be thought of as a fluid-filled sac. The outer covering of the cell completely encloses a hollow space in the center. The hollow space is filled with a fluid that has various things floating in it. The nucleus of the cell is one of the things floating in the fluid. For theoretical purposes, the construction of the single cell can be described in other ways. The single cell can be treated as if it is constructed of fibers that are put together in various different patterns. The object in this picture will represent a single cell. One type of fiber pattern would be a simple grid of straight fibers running from the bottom of the cell to the top of the cell. Or the fibers could follow a spiral pattern beginning at the top of the cell then spiraling down to the bottom of the cell. The single cell could be treated as if it is constructed of layers placed in various patterns. For example, the single cell could be constructed of layers that run in a radial pattern from the center of the cell to the outside of the cell. This picture provides an example of what one of the layers would look like. The next picture compares a limited number of layers placed in a circular pattern to the single cell. This is done to help visualize what the single cell constructed of an infinite number of layers in a radial pattern would look like. According to Happy Theory, the human body contains one or more characteristics of all of the creatures on the path of evolution. That means the human body has one or more characteristics of a fish, an amphibian, a reptile, an insect, a bird, and a mammal. That claim would also mean that the human body should contain one or more characteristics of the original single cell floating in the ocean. One characteristic of a single cell that the human body shares or contains is that the human body can also be described as a fluid filled sac. The skin of the human body would be equivalent to the sac of the cell. The blood and other fluids inside of the human body would be equivalent to the fluid inside of the cell. Because all of the creatures on the path of evolution started from a single cell floating in the ocean, according to Happy Theory, all of the creatures on the path of evolution can be treated as a modified single cell. A fish could be treated as a single cell with fins, a tail, and a head. A reptile could be treated as a single cell with four legs, a tail, and a head. The human body could be treated as a single cell with two arms, two legs, and a head. According to the single cell view of the human body, the human body can be treated as a large cell located as shown in this picture. The cell encloses the torso from the bottom of the buttocks to the top of the head. This picture shows the three-dimensional single cell object used earlier in the video centered on the human body. In the next picture, the cell object has been made transparent so that its relationship to the human body can be seen. The camera then circumnavigates the human body so that the relationship between the cell object and the human body can be examined from all angles. According to the single cell view of the human body, other parts of the body can also be treated as a single cell. The upper arms, the lower arms, the upper legs, the lower legs, the entire arm, and the entire leg can all be treated as a large single cell. The cells on each of those body parts would also be constructed in one of the ways that were previously mentioned such as being constructed of fibers or layers in various patterns. The single cell view of the human body 
provides a foundation for some of the other theoretical models of the human body that are part of happy theory. Because the single cell view of the human body uses a simple single cell to model the human body, it can only provide a limited number of simple observations about the human body. By modifying the single cell view of the human body into something slightly different or more complex, such as the egg view of the human body, the torus view of the human body, or the single cylinder view of the human body, it is possible to describe a larger number of more complex observations about the human body. The insight into the human body that can be gained by treating the entire body and individual sections of the human body as a large single cell will be discussed in later videos of this series.